it was a beautiful warm summer's day. The sun was shining and there were gentle breezes blowing through the air. Two goldfish named Tatters and Fred were playing their favourite game of tag in the creek where they lived. Tatters and Fred were best friends. Through unfortunate circumstances, they had ended up living in a quiet pool of water in a creek, edged by large rocks and scattered branches, where they felt safe. The goldfish looked just alike, except for a small slit in Tatters' tail. Tatters and Fred were enjoying their game of tag when they heard a loud buzzing. They looked up to see someone sitting on a flower by the side of the creek. They swam closer to ask, Who are you? Why, I am a bumblebee, their new friend buzzed, and I like flowers. How very nice, the goldfish replied, then went on their merry way to continue with their game. Later in the morning, they noticed someone sprawled on a log. Well, hello, said Tatters and Fred. We're playing a game of tag. Would you like to join us? No, thanks, drawled the turtle. When the sun is out, I like to rest and enjoy the warmth on my back. OK, said Tatters and Fred. Have a nice day. It was early afternoon when Tatters and Fred heard joyful singing. They glanced skyward to see someone perched in a tree beside the creek. They said hello and the songbird chirped. Good afternoon. I've enjoyed watching you play your game. I am singing a cheerful song because you've made me happy. Your singing is beautiful, thank you, replied Tatters and Fred before they swam away. A short time later, they glimpsed two small eyes looking at them. When those eyes became aware of their stare, a crayfish crawled out from underneath a flat rock and said, I like to hide under the rock where I feel safe and won't float away. Well, pleased to meet you, said Tatters and Fred. Just then they watched a shadow move across the water. When they looked up, a butterfly said, I like to flit and float about in the gentle breeze. Tatters and Fred agreed, saying, That looks like fun. We enjoy swimming in the water since we can't fly. Soon after saying goodbye to the butterfly, Tatters and Fred heard a plop and watched a frog swim back to the edge of the creek. That felt so refreshing, croaked the frog. I needed to cool off. Just before bedtime, Tatters and Fred enjoyed watching a dragonfly zip and zap above the surface of the water. Good night, said the dragonfly. Good night, echoed Tatters and Fred. Time for bed and they dreamed of which favourite game they would play tomorrow. The end.